In this video, I'm going to explain what the resource curse is and how it destroys an economy and even corrupts our heroes like Black Panther. Welcome fellow film economists. My name is Greg, where learning economics is as easy as watching a movie. The resource curse is an economic theory that tells us when a country completely invests in one particular resource, even if that resource is valuable, they will end up with less democracy, more corruption, and less economic development. So let's take a look at Black Panther and Wakanda as a thought experiment of this. At the end of Black Panther, T'Challa, the king of Wakanda, decides to open up his country to the rest of the world. This is also going to include economic exchange, and the most valuable resource that Wakanda has is vibranium. Now T'Challa, all he wants is to do what's best for Wakanda, even if it means changing traditions. So. Wakanda has this very valuable resource, vibranium, and they also have all their advanced technology that goes along with that. So they decide that they are going to sell that. Now, countries are going to want vibranium a lot because it's practically indestructible and it is a huge source of energy. So there is a huge demand for this resource, which means the prices are going to be really high. And so as Wakanda is selling its vibranium, they are getting a huge influx of cash. Now, T'Challa wants to do what's best for Wakanda. And one of the ways he realizes that he can do what's best for Wakanda is to limit the supply of vibranium. After all, if he limits the supply of it, that means there will still be a huge demand. So he decides to take control of the market itself. After all, this is all about what's best for Wakanda. The other thing that he has to decide is with all of this new money, what is he going to spend that money on? T'Challa decides to do things like spend it on infrastructure, invest in education and training, invest in healthcare for all citizens. He also decides to dedicate the entire education and training of the workforce towards investing in vibranium. So everybody is becoming skilled in how to work with vibranium, make technologies from it, mine it, etc, etc. Everything seems to be going well except when a scientist actually comes up with a new product. This product does about 90% of what vibranium does, except it's a lot cheaper. And let's call this product fake vibranium. Now, when T'Challa hears about this, he has to make a decision. Does he want to sell this fake vibranium that his own scientist has come up with? Well, if he does that, that means that all of the money that's going towards those social services we just talked about, that money is going to dry up. So for T'Challa, he has a choice to make. In order to do what's best for Wakanda, he has to keep vibranium's price high. So what does he do? Instead of marketing and putting money into researching this product, he decides to suppress it. After all, this is what is best for Wakanda's economy. Unfortunately, when the scientist leaves Wakanda and goes to other countries to show off this new product, what happens next is that all the countries want to buy it. After all, it can do 90% of what they're paying for at a fraction of the cost. So now all of those people who are buying vibranium from Wakanda are suddenly now going to buy the fake vibranium. So what happens then? That money ends up drying up. And because all of Wakanda's workforce and education is geared towards making vibranium and mining it and working with it, their skills aren't necessarily a direct transfer to something else. Now Wakanda is seriously losing a ton of money and people are now finding themselves out of work because now you can't hire as many people. People are losing their health care, the infrastructure is starting to crumble, and now you have a ton of civil unrest within the country. Country. Even if T'Challa was intrigued by the fake vibranium, his advisors and other people who are heavily involved in the vibranium market would have convinced him otherwise. Because after all, this is what is best for Wakanda, is to keep vibranium valuable. The tragedy of T'Challa and Wakanda is actually really similar to some other countries that we've seen in the world, such as Venezuela, who invested so much into just oil. So how can we avoid the resource curse? Well. There are a few different ways you can do it. One, you can actually diversify your investments. So instead of taking that money and just spending it like it's, you know, your allowance, take that money and actually put it in investments. Make sure that it is independent of the resource that you are relying on. So that could be investing in the stock market. Another way to avoid this resource curse is also to have a strong democracy, which would include having a very strong constitution. And a third method is to actually diversify your resources. Take those resources and actually diversify it. Don't just gear everything towards this one thing, especially your education and training of your workforce. The resource curse is a small part of the microeconomic branch in economics. And lucky for you, now that you've seen this video, it's time to dive more into microeconomics. And I have an entire playlist right up here that you can check out and I will see you in that next video.